All right guys, so I bought three untested Xbox 360 consoles from Goodwill. So this lot I bought cost about $95 and it actually comes with three controllers, some cords. So basically we're gonna open up this box, check out the condition of everything, see if it works and see if it was worth $95. So you probably can't tell from overhead, but this is a pretty large box. Now let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. All right guys, so not a great start. Uh, they used shredded paper as packaging. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this done before. I've seen people use, you know, paper, obviously, uh, packing peanuts, which I hate packing peanuts, but this is, this is even worse than packing peanuts. This is terrible. Why would you use this for packaging? So yeah, we got the Xboxes in bubble wrap, which I mentioned before, Goodwill actually does a pretty good job of wrapping their stuff. Usually put it in bubble wrap. Let me go ahead and pull out these consoles and accessories and we'll see what's inside. Thanks to Kuri for sponsoring this video. Kuri is a company that sells some of the top gaming monitors on Amazon, and this right here is one of the monitors they sell. It's a quad HD monitor with an IPS screen, a one millisecond response time, and a 144 hertz refresh rate. My favorite feature of the monitor is the capability of the built-in stand. You can easily slide the monitor up and down, tilt it back and forth, rotate it 30 degrees right or 30 degrees left, and you can even pivot the monitor so that it's either horizontal or vertical. And even with all of this functionality, it only takes about two minutes to set up. So if you're interested in picking up this monitor, check out the Amazon link down below and use the code on the screen for 15% off your purchase. All right, so we're gonna start by looking at all the accessories. And like I mentioned, uh, the, uh, all that shredded paper left some residue. You can even see there's a piece of shredded paper in this analog stick here. And there's just like, I don't know how to describe it, but residue all over it. I can clean that off, but it's just annoying. Now here's the first controller. As you can see, it's a wireless controller looks pretty yellowed out uh, you know it's who knows where it's been sitting for the last 15 years no batteries in it and then we got yeah it's just very yellow and pretty dang dirty <laughs> other than it being dirty and yellow all the buttons seem to function just fine now let's go ahead and take a look at the next one as I mentioned you got three controllers this one actually looks probably the best out of all three this analog stick here doesn't feel the most mobile but that might just be because I'm used to an Xbox Series X controller nowadays. And so you got paper residue on this one as well, and there's so much of it that's making me want to sneeze. Uh, but this one looks a little bit better, probably because it's black and it hides uh, some of the imperfections. But yeah, I mean, the, the buttons seem to work. The start and select are pretty sticky. Now, last but not least, we got one more controller, and this one actually has the, one of those keypads attached, which is kind of cool. I feel like this might be worth, worth something extra. I'll look it up on eBay and show you on the screen how much it's worth, but that's uh, you know an interesting thing to see. And then, yeah, I think it de detaches somehow. I've never had one though. Yeah, just pull straight out. And of course, <laughs> you guys saw that on camera. As I pulled out the keyboard, a bunch of the scrap paper popped out. Man, that's just, I can't believe they did that. And the thing is, Goodwill can get away with it because this listing was sold as is, no returns that sort of thing. So they can kind of just ship it as they want to and it doesn't matter if anything's dirty or works or whatever. And I don't think I really mentioned much about the listing yet, but like I said, paid 95 bucks, everything was untested, which I'm not quite sure why it was untested because it came with a power brick, so they could have tested it if they wanted to. So I'm hoping that something in here works, but I mean, that's the whole gamble here. We'll see. And we also have this really long HDMI cable. Don't really care about that. We got this box here. I'm not sure what's in it, but we are about to find out. Aha, so we got an extra hard drive and then we got one of the pieces that goes on the 360 when you don't have a hard drive in place and I'm not sure how much memory is on this thing. I don't see it listed anywhere on here and you got to be you got to be careful with these hard drives because a lot of them are fake, but they the fakes look really similar to the real ones. Um, so off the top of my head, not sure if this is real or fake, but we'll we'll try to figure that out later. And of course, more of this shredded paper comes out of the box. We also have a power brick, not much to show there, it's just a power brick. Our last accessory, we have a Xbox 360 wireless adapter. So if you're not familiar, the uh, original FAT360 actually did not have wireless capabilities for Wi-Fi. So you actually had to use an adapter, either an adapter or hardline connection. Um, so I think this actually is worth a decent amount of money on eBay. I looked it up a long time ago, I can't remember exactly how much, but I'll show a picture on the screen of how much it's worth right now. And actually one more thing, came with a set of AV cables, but not really worth much there. We got a console here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this first console and see what we got. And of course, a bunch of shredded paper inside of the bubble wrap. Man, I'm gonna be cleaning this stuff up for weeks. All right, so here is console number one. It's a bit yellow and it has some like brown spots or something on the top. I think those might scrape off. I'm not sure what that's, 
that about. Um, here in the front, looks pretty good. That spring is broken. Buttons seem to work. And then you got a 60 gig hard drive on this side. Now here in the back should be the interesting part. This thing definitely has been opened before and it looks extremely dirty. <laughs> it's from, let's see, manufactured in 2008. Uh, so we actually have one of the more recent motherboards, I believe. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it looks like it's been opened before. So I'm sure this thing has red ring of death. Hopefully not, but we'll check it out in a minute. All right, so console number two. Let's go ahead and take this one out of the wrapping and see what we got. All right, so got this out of the wrapping and I found a gym on top. We got GameStop certified pre-owned sticker on it. So not sure if that bodes well or not, but uh, that's pretty interesting. I've never seen that on there. So that was probably... It's got a date completed there, and I think it says 11-8-2015, uh, so kind of recent. Um, again, this one has more of those brown spots on the top, and the front is pretty dang yellow. Here in the back is the interesting part. Uh, let's see, when was it manufactured? 2010. Oh, so this might be a nice console, and it does not look like it's opened. Nice. This is a good console here. If it turns on, then we're, we're golden, because this is one of the... Uh, man, I cannot remember the motherboard name off the top of my head. I'll throw it on the screen, but this is one of the motherboards that does not red ring of death easily, so that's good to see. And we've got a 60 gig hard drive here. Man, so that's that should be a good console once you clean it up. I mean, I'm hoping so. If it has any disk drive issues, those are usually pretty easy to fix. The problem with 360s is if you have red ring of death, there's pretty much no coming back from it. You can fix it, but it's pretty much only gonna be a temporary fix. Now here's console number three, and let's see what we got here. All right, got it unwrapped, and it's a bit yellow as well, kind of dirty. Here in the front, uh, looks the same as the other ones. Buttons work. I actually didn't test the buttons on the second one, but we'll test that when we actually test it out. Here on the side, we got another hard drive. I don't see a label there, so I'm not sure how large it is. Probably like 20 gigs. And here on the back, we got a console from 2006. Okay, so uh, this console looks like it hasn't been opened, but it is old, so it... Oh, and it even has no HDMI port, so... This is an old console, it might have Red Ring of Death, there's probably a good chance it does. But the cool thing is if it doesn't, I bet this thing is on a really old dashboard. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug these things in and uh, see if they work. Alright guys, so console number one. And this is one of the ones that had a lot of like brown dots on top, as you can see there. It was really dirty in the back as well, but I'm not going to show you that. And here's that monitor I was talking about earlier, the Kuri uh, monitor. And my favorite part about it is it slides up and down really easily. And you can actually turn it vertical pretty neat don't need that right now but let's go ahead and plug in this first Xbox and see if it turns on so I actually already have it plugged in with the the uh, power brick that came with it let's go ahead and hit that button see if it turns on all right so that's a good sign so far and if you remember this first one had a bunch of punctures on the back that you know it, it had clearly been opened before and oh we got life nice so I was actually expecting this one to be opened and have red ring of death and nice, we got an old dashboard. Let's go ahead and connect one of these controllers and see if they turn on. So I already put batteries in two of these controllers. This one looks to be turning on now. Let's go ahead and hit that sync button. And boom, we got player number one. We got Rocket-esque raccoon, Rocket's raccoon. Let's go ahead and log in. Nice, so we're on a, uh, it's not a that old. I'm not sure which, we can go ahead and check out which uh, dashboard we're on. So we're on 2.0.15574.0. Not sure if that's the latest or not. I don't think it is, but I'll show you up on the screen if it is or not. So I just looked it up, and this dashboard came out in 2012. It's the Metro dashboard, and as you can see, Xbox is still working so far, so that's good. And I'm actually going to go ahead and plug in my wireless network adapter, and we're going to see if that works. All right, so I got the network adapter uh, installed and mounted on the back, and it does work. I just connected it to my network and it wants me to do an update now, which I'm not going to do right now. So let's go ahead and back out of this. And this uh, this keyboard in here came in clutch. I was able to type in my password a whole lot faster than if I was just, you know, clicking around on the screen. So let's go ahead and back out, and that's good to see. All right, so that's good to see that we got a uh, Wi-Fi connected. Now let's go ahead and try to uh, play a game. So I'll go ahead and hit open tray, and the disk drive opens. So, I mean, so far so good opens pretty smoothly as well so yeah I'm not sure why this console was open maybe it was opened to fix a disk drive issue and it was fixed or maybe they attempted to open it but couldn't actually figure out how to open it and left it as is not sure actually I'm gonna go ahead and take off this faceplate and see if we can see if that warranty sticker is gone all right so that's the warranty sticker right there and it actually does not look like it's been removed it looks like it was almost removed but 
So maybe the person tried to open it up but couldn't figure out how. Huh, weird. Maybe they were trying to just clean it out, not sure. All right, so I got skate two. I went ahead and put it in the disk drive. Let's go ahead and see if it loads up. The uh, test of truth, if it'll read a disk, let's hope so. All right, guys, so it's reading up. It just started loading up the game. Um, we'll go ahead and just take a quick look at this profile, or the, uh, um, you know, the Xbox guide as it's loading up. You know, the classic. It's always, I always love going back and seeing old consoles and um, kind of reminiscing on the uh, the old dashboards and that sort of thing. All right, so clearly a game is working here. I uh, obviously have not played it for very long, but um, yeah, I mean that's a good a good start here. We got a console from 2008, so it's on a, a you know a slightly newer motherboard, not on the original really bad one. The game seems to work fine, and console seems to work fine, so that's good to see. Now one more thing I want to do real quick before I take a look at the next console, is I kind of want to just take a look at what what kind of games this guy played, guy or girl. Um, I always find it interesting to see that. So Minecraft, The Impossible Game, The One Dollar Zombie Game, and Doritos Crash Course. So not many games on here. I'll take a look at his profile. You can probably see what kind of game saves they've got. Uh, we've got Madden 09, Modern Warfare 2, Saints Row 2, Minecraft, Doritos Crash Course. we got Black Ops and then World of, World of War. So yeah, 2012 sounds about right. So this console probably has not been played since like 2012. Um, it's always kind of crazy to see that stuff. And I guess we might as well test the other controllers out on this console. So let's go ahead and, well, that's not good. I have batteries in this one, but it's not booting up. Yeah, let me try to troubleshoot a little bit and we'll see if it starts working. So the battery pack of this controller is actually not working, but I swapped it out with the battery pack from this controller and now it works fine. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I couldn't get that to work. So uh, we'll just deem that as a bad battery pack. I guess I'll buy one to replace it. But yeah, the controller otherwise works good. I tried out all the buttons and they seem to work fine. Let's go ahead and try out the, the last controller as well. All right, so surprise, surprise, the battery pack on this one did not work. Um, so I swapped it out for the one that was working, and now this controller works as well. So three for three, kind of. I just got to buy a couple extra battery packs, and I should fix those up. Um, but yeah, it's good to see I tried these controller out, and it works fine. Only thing about this controller is the analog sticks seem to be a little bit, I don't know, they're just not as responsive. I'm guessing they're probably dirty on the inside, but uh, yeah. Alright guys, so on to console number two, and before I go any further, I want to uh, clarify the motherboard revisions. So, this one is a Jasper motherboard, the one right before was a Falcon, and the last one we're going to test is a Xenon. I just looked them up because I completely forgot what the, they were called. Uh, I used to know off the top of my head, but I do not now. And again, this is the one that came from GameStop. It's really dirty as you can see, but 2010, uh, you know, this console should be good if it turns on. So let's go ahead and try it out. Three, two, one. We got green light. I'd be extremely surprised if this thing has Red Ring of Death because they basically fixed it on this motherboard revision. So, uh, hopefully it pops up. There we go. Cool. Nice. It's always a treat when you see a, uh, see a console actually pop up. So we got some profiles here. Definitely on a previous revision of the, uh, the dashboard. Let's go ahead and connect this controller up. Alright, so we're connected up. We got Alec, Bradley, Dad, Dagen, Domo. <laughs> Got a bunch of profiles. All right, let me just log into the first one I see, and cool. It wants me to connect to the internet, but I'm not gonna do, not gonna do that right now because I don't really care about connecting to the internet. Let's go ahead and see what dashboard we're on. It looks like it was updated fairly recently. Let's see. So we got dashboard 2.0.17349.0. I'll throw up on the screen uh, when this dashboard came out. I think it's pretty recently. Uh, you know, at least in recent terms of the 360. And I'll see if this tray opens. Ooh. All right, so it gets a little bit stuck. At least it did that first time, and then it opened just fine. Probably just need to clean the band in there. I'm not gonna do that right now since it is working, but let's go ahead and try out a game. So I got Skate 2 over here again. We'll go ahead and put that in and see if it works. All right, so so far so good. Game loaded up just fine, no issues there. Kind of how I expected considering it's a, uh, a Jasper motherboard. Um, but yeah, that's good to see. So far, two for two. Got some good accessories, man, this is a pretty solid lot for $95. So I showed you earlier how dirty this console is, but let me just show you even more. Uh, so I just realized there's a bunch of dust and stuff that's blowing out the back fans. So this thing is pretty dirty inside probably as well. I noticed that while I was plugging in my ethernet cable so I can test out the internet just to make sure we connect up. Uh, probably won't update, but we'll at least see if we can connect. All right, so the internet does work and it says there's a system update available, so we're not on the last update. I'm not gonna do that right now, I just wanted to make sure we could connect to the internet. And, you know, like I always like to do, I like to check out what kind of games 
these people have been playing. So since we got so many profiles, I'm just gonna go to system and go to storage and see what kind of stuff they got stored on here. It doesn't seem like too much. We got Avatar Editor, <laughs> Panjo Kazooie, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Bullet Storm, Call of Duty. Actually got a decent number of games here. Fallout, uh, New Vegas, Fable 3, Gears of War 3, GTA 5, and 4. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, nice. So I actually got a solid number of games here, and then Avatar items, system items, got some profiles. As you saw, there was actually a lot of profiles on here. Looks like Bradley and Dagen Dagen probably played the most. Caleb, I think since they got two megs, not actually sure where they store on the, the profiles, but uh, yeah, cool. All right, guys, so that console seems to work just fine. Uh, you know, the only issue I saw was that the uh, disk drive was kind of slow opening that first time. I might try to clean that out, but you know, other than that, pretty good. It's very dirty, obviously, but once it's cleaned up some, it should be a great console. All right, so console number three, it's the Xenon motherboard, which unfortunately was the most prone to rendering to death. Now it's kind of up for debate what this console is going to be. I think there's one of two things that are going to happen. It's either going to have red ring of death right off the bat, or it's going to pop up and be on a really old dashboard. Not sure, but to be honest, this one actually looks the cleanest of all three consoles. But let's go ahead and not waste any time. Let's turn this thing on. So three, two, one. Okay, so far so good. Green light, come on. Turn on. Remember I had to plug in my AV cables. Oh, I saw green lights. Yes, let's go. All right, so we're not on Blade's dashboard, but I think we are on an older dashboard. All right, so here we are. We got Elizabeth, Amanda, Assassin. I got a lot of players here. Go ahead and log in as one of them. So I went ahead and connected to the network. And cool. Oh, there's a game in there. Let's go. Quantum Solus. 007 Quantum of Solus. Nice. And the disc looks good, too. Let's go, guys. I love free games that come in these consoles such a treat let's go ahead and put this back in and I guess we can go ahead and test out the game and make sure it works and man so it's definitely on a newer dashboard so man this is this is actually extremely surprising that we have a, a console this old still around without the red ring of death and it doesn't look like it's been opened before because it it looks clean um, well, let's go ahead and make sure this game works so while this game is booting up I went ahead and opened or took off the faceplate and it does look like that warranty steel seal is still intact so yeah, I don't think it's been opened. So I'm I'm very surprised we have a console this old that is still working without rendering a death and hasn't been repaired yet. But I mean, I guess they're out there, clearly. We got a free game too. Sweet. Looks like it's working. I'm not gonna test it for too long right now. Um, but man, I got a nice lot here. We got three consoles, all three of them seem to work. Um, obviously I've not tested any of them for an extended period of time yet. But uh and there's an update available. I'm not gonna do that, but as you can see it's it's definitely updated pretty recently. Let's go ahead and check out what what software it's on. So we're on 2.0.16547.0. So that's a little bit uh, less recent than the last one, but uh, still fairly recent. But yeah, like I said, we got three nice consoles. We got basically one of each motherboard. You got your Xenon, you got a Jasper, and you got a Falcon. Um, all three seem to work. You know, the Jasper is that's a great console. Um, you know, that that motherboard is not nearly as prone to rendering a death as, as these other motherboards. Um, so I'm um, Pretty happy with that. Got a free game as well. Can't ever be mad about that. And then we also got three controllers. You know, we got this little, um, we got this little pad right here, which is actually pretty clutch. And then we also got another hard drive, which is definitely fake. Um, I haven't even tested it out, and I probably won't test it out yet, to be honest. But uh, it's definitely one of those fake ones. Uh, the other ones seem to be real. And then of course we also got our Wi-Fi adapter. So definitely a solid lot for $95. Um, I'll probably sell these consoles and maybe some of the accessories on my website down below, jropgaming.com. So go ahead and check that out. I may or may not have them for sale by the time this video goes up. I'll try to have at least something for sale, but uh, yeah, definitely go that check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know down below what other consoles I should buy from Goodwill. Um, I find it really amusing to buy consoles from here because you never know where they've been. And I actually get some pretty solid stuff. I mean, we got really lucky. Three consoles that work great. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching guys and have a great day.